these are some of the colors that I've been able to make so far. I'm trying to do this Prince Purple Rain painting, but so far I just have like a couple colors in to get the shape. And I'm hoping that these flesh tones right here are really gonna like pull the image forward, but it's just like oil painting is really hard. So this setup I got, I got my glass palette sitting, sitting on a chair. I got this easel that I've been glad to have. And right now I'm blocking in all these colors. This one I'm gonna to try to tell myself, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. That's gonna be my mantra. And then I have this book that just has different like African features and it um, I got this and I just kind of have it open because I really wanted to make sure that I put like different type of distinguish, distinguish the nose, mouth, all that. I'm feeling good about where I'm at with this right now, but I got to make sure I don't overthink it. I remember when I first got into tattooing, I was like, all right, if I tattoo, I'm going to be able to make art and I'd have the resources to be able to make art. And now it's like I tattoo and I don't know if I just get lost in just wanting to do more of tattooing, but I'm going to try my best to explore painting, what it is to even be somebody who's actively painting more because I have free time and you know, what am I doing right now? Playing Super Smash Bros. Yeah, I'm playing a lot. <laughs> like, I'm playing a lot of Super Smash Bros. And something that's like never talked about how expensive these paints are. I mean, I'm probably going to need to get, well, I'm going to need to get this back in focus, but I'm going to need to get another one of these. And, um, yeah, they're expensive. I'm going to get myself a quick breather and go out and purchase some more paint just so that I have it. I'm really hoping that I paint more and I really don't want to feel like I don't have enough purple to nail this print. And it's a rainy day in Bloomington. But luckily I live like right by the art store. So I'm pretty much just needing to recoup my little paints. So 
I ended up getting my little purple again. I like Williamsburg because it's just like, probably has the most pigment load of brushes, uh, brushes of paints that I use. And so at least now I'm not gonna have to worry about getting another one of these. So this is pretty much the neighborhood. So the library's right here, coffee shop, hair salon, art gallery, and then my studio is this little one right here. And then Indiana University is like right over here. All right, so I've been able to make some progress with the face and the hair. And so I'm really happy about how these warm, like peach colors are going. Um, and then I'm glad that I was able to get these purple shadows on the face. Um, I put in some blue. This piece really felt important to try to just really have it as purple as possible. Okay, so I ended up being able to paint the whole thing. I'm calling it done, just because I don't want to mess it up with like overthinking. I'm really happy. Ooh, tired, I guess. Really happy about these peach tones. You know, these were actually like really deep rich, uh, like just orange peach color. And so to have those contrast with the purples and the hair and the beard. Um, really happy about that. This one, I wanted to make more about just a color wave, um, that color being purple and got my signature. I'm feeling good about it. I was able to finish this one and I definitely learned a lot just about wanting to just nail a painting and be perfect so you know it's like we got the painting but it's so hard for me to just like separate myself from what I want to make versus what I'm supposed to make and I am not perfect so sometimes I'm trying my best and my best ends up overworking a painting
but I'm pretty happy about the progress on this one. Hopefully everybody can see it in the background. So yeah, definitely listened to a lot of prints making this one.